Hello, my name is Findimus, and in this video we are going to be learning how to create a set of checkboxes. If you want to follow along, the link is in the description down below. Let's begin. Forms commonly use checkboxes for questions that may have more than one answer. Checkboxes are a type of input. Each of your checkboxes can be nested within its own label element. By wrapping an input element inside of a label element, it will automatically associate the checkbox input with the label element surrounding it. All related checkbox inputs should have the same name attribute. It is considered best practice to explicitly define the relationship between a checkbox input and its corresponding label by setting the for attribute on the label element to match the ID attribute on the associated input element. Mm. Drinking some water, excuse me. <clears throat> Here's an example of a checkbox. Label four equals loving and this is their name tag they're talking about for label here's your input and the ID was gonna be the same matching here and then type checkbox personality is your name loving label so loving would be the name next to the box that you want to check. Add to your form a set of three checkboxes. Each checkbox should be nested within its own label element. All three should share the name attribute of personality. Okay, we can do that. Your page should have uh, three checkbox elements. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure where we're doing it. I know it needs to be within the form though, that's my guess. So inside the form, what we're going to do, we're going to, wait, hold on. I want to look at the previous code real quick. Hmm. Okay. The button down here. I was trying to figure out my code looks so um, out of place. I needed to move the code up above the submit button on the last lesson, but that's fine. Okay, so uh, we're going to create three checkbox elements. And um, to create a checkbox, you're going to use an input. So we're going to put an input and the type equals checkbox. So type equal checkbox and then the name equal what do they want the name personality so personality okay uh, we'll close this and then you can put a word here. I mean, it doesn't really tell us what to put, so I'm just going to put like box one for now. And yeah, I we're we're going to have to put this above the button, so Okay, so here we go. I'll put the button down below. And we also want the uh, the uh, input box. I want that to be down there too.
I don't think you can though. Okay, that's fine. So uh, we'll close this input out here slash input. Let me make that a new line. Hmm. Oh, excuse me. Hey, look at this code here. Mm, loving, label. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Input self closing. Looks like it's self closing. Hmm. That's so bizarre. I see one input here and that's it. Like that. And then you know there's a there's a label tag. So it's like, okay. So they want three of these and they want them enclosed inside of label tags. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do a label. Or equals and they want them to be so the ID is like the specific thing so in my opinion ID for this would be box one if spaces are allowed in the name I'm not sure you have to do it like that so uh, label for box one right and down here you're gonna have input and we're going to put the uh, the ID equals and do the same thing as above there box one type equals checkbox name equals personality loving I should put box one and then down here this needs to be the label. So close close the label off. Um I'm fairly certain that's it. It's weird though because it doesn't match. Now see now now it'll but if you um have it kind of go in oh, it still does it doesn't it? I'm looking at syntax here. Yeah, it still does it. What if I go in one more though? Yeah, it still still does it. Just I think it wants you to be like that. I'm not positive. I think that wants you can see the black outline on the the code editor where it wants you to put the uh, indentation or something. I'm not I'm not positive on that. Uh, anyways, sticking to the current challenge and the current objectives. So, my understanding of it is if they want three of these, you just kind of do that. And now you have three. And then instead of box one, you would just put box two. Right? And so I just hit it like that and then do that move over so there's box two and then here you would have um, box three but I mean they want personality attributes here but I don't I don't they don't give me which forms they want so it's just kind of placeholder stuff for now separate that out Let's see here make sure each of your label elements has a closing tag we did that which is nice three your check boxes should be given the name attribute of personality Let's do these here hmm huh.
I don't like the boxes being next to this. I want it to be above it, but I don't know how to do that. So each of your check boxes should be added within the form tag. It is. You see form right here. We've been working with this form tag for a while, putting a lot of stuff in there. You have to submit button there. Label outdoor. See, I don't understand. This labels, they're all like in a row. But then this is in front of it. I don't that makes no sense to me. Over here on the page for now. Um, I believe that's all we needed to do for the three checkbox elements on this challenge. So I'm going to hit the run test. We'll see how it runs through. And that passed. So one loop to rule them all. Good job on this lesson. We're still learning along the way. Everything's fine with that. So don't get too bent out of shape on the improper syntax. I'm sure we'll pick it up in the more advanced lessons. It's just the basic HTML5 and HTML. So thank you for watching. If you feel this video was helpful or you liked it or you learned something, then hit the, the like button. If you want to see more content like this, then subscribe. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments down below. And I look at all the comments. I will see it and I will respond. I am Findimus and I will see you later. Have a good day, everybody.